Oh. <laughs> Time of release is a little too quick. That was good, that was good. Find a spot between that tree and this, this way up over here. Like, it's kind of like you're snapping a towel. Yeah, okay. okay, like you know, you know how you snap oh, a towel, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Snap the towel with the disc. Keep your shoulder down. You don't want to have your shoulder in your ear. So you just want to kind of do it. Ah. That transverse plane? Okay, you yeah. just kind of fall on that plane. Ah. Straight. The, the disc natural flight pattern is to go left. So you want to kind of compensate for that, that fade. And What you're doing is you're, you're kind of releasing either here or, or too late. You're just kind of look at where the basket, kind of focus on the basket. And, or not focus on the basket, focus on that trash can. Oh, so just don't let it release too early and uh, let, it, let, it, let it fly out natural. Coming back around. You got the plane right there. So Ben, while you're while you're getting ready to release the disc, when you extend your arm out all the way, like that, when your arm locks out to that point, go ahead and yeah, when it locks out to that point, when it gets to that lockout point, I want you to just let go of the disc right there and uh, let it fly. There you go. Nice shot. Straight towards the hole. Good. So when you're holding the disc out, you want to make sure you have it at a nice flat plane instead of too far down or too far up. So when you find that nice flat sweet spot, add that in with, with when you snap your elbow out, keeping it nice and flat like you got it there. And then when you snap your elbow out, and have your feet positioned like they are. Let it fly. That was a nice release. Nice. Nice. So just, yeah, throw it towards that picnic table over there and it'll come back left to the basket. Nice. Nice. Beauty. Nice shot. Beautiful. Right around the nice. trees. There you go. So what you're doing when you're starting to when you're swinging like you like you've been doing, your axis of your rotation has been in your shoulder. You haven't really been getting your hips into it so much. So what we know about, you know, with torque and everything, you want to have that, that arm between where you're, where you're letting the disc go and, and where your axis is, has all been in your shoulder. So if you start getting your hips into it, the axis won't be through your shoulder, it'll be through the mid midline of your body. So it'll go down straight through the middle of your body, so it'll have that little extra, you know, 12 inches or so between your shoulder and the middle of your body to have some more momentum when you're, when you're swinging around. Nice shot. Nice shot. Woo! Back to back shots. You're crushing it, Ben. That one's still, yeah. 
Nice shot. Oh, money. Woo! Oh, nice man. shot. Good job. I'm ready. So from the T pad to the pin is 250 feet, and Ben threw it dead center right here. And I'm gonna face okay, it off. Last 20 feet. So a 220 foot or 230 foot drive. 230 feet is an awesome, awesome job. So, and that's dead center, straight at the pin. And uh, now we're gonna videotape you uh, putting it in from here. So, woo, you got it, dude. <laughs>